Hey everybody, Norm over here. It is Stratterday. Woo! And, uh, you know, we've got kind of a special guitar. Um, I think they call them Stratocasters. <laughs> and uh, we've got one or two. But this one's pretty cool. Michael Lemo. Oh my God. One of the coolest guitars to come through here in my time. Um, and, in uh, his time. In his time. Well, he's young, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying since I've been here. Because I know you've seen it all, Norm. You've yeah, seen, you I've have seen, seen it, it all. all. So, you know, so, uh, it's kind of hard to say it for you. So I'm speaking They used to me. <laughs> deliver guitars here with a horse and buggy you know, when I was first starting. So, But this guitar, this is like a horse and buggy guitar. This is a tweed case. And it's a center pocket tweed case. Oh boy. Let's open it up. And this is a 1954 Strat. Ooh. This is the first year wow. that they did the Stratocaster. Wow. That's crazy, Norm. And uh, very early, uh, it's got the, uh, just to point out some of the features, of course, the maple neck. Mm -hmm. And it's an ash body. And you can see it's got really beautiful grain. Um, it's got the Bakelite parts. Uh, knobs are a little different than what you see, and the pickup covers from what you see on most of the strats thereafter. Uh, it's a single ply guard, uh, round string retainer, and very low wow. number. And the round uh, holes, you know, covering the uh, tremolo cover. And this thing is very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And um, anything going on on here? I think there is probably a tremolo arm in there and a strap, an original old strap. So this thing is, that is crazy. super yeah. primitive. One of the very first of the Fender strats and very nice condition. And Michael, you played this before, right? Yes. You know, kinda, I just Going had to get on. to it. I wanted to play it. <laughs> but uh, okay. one of the best sounding strats I've ever heard. And it's crazy to think a lot of the stuff I'm playing on it today did not exist in 1954. That's right. And this thing executes it at such a high level. It's one just of the, insane. One of the first strats I think played on record was Pee Wee Creighton, uh, you know, had a very early strat that he used on some of his early records. The only thing older than this strat in here is me and my repairman, John. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. So, but one of the very first Fender strats ever made. And, you know, of course, they had the uh, broadcaster and the Esquire came before this. Then the Telecaster with the advent of television. And then... The Stratocaster, they wanted something with a contoured body that was a little bit more comfortable leaning up against you because the tellies are kind of more squared off. Oh, okay. And so uh, this thing is deadly cool and a serious piece of history. And uh, Michael, you want to show us what this thing does? Yes, please. And uh, I just want to say my first guitar, was, electric guitar was a Fender Stratocaster, so it's an honor to play the first year. Um, yeah, really cool guitar. Does that say Squire? No, that's not <laughs> Squire. Thanks, Norm. Let's do it. Yeah, does it say Squire? No. <laughs> All right, we're out front with the 1954 first year Fender Stratocaster, and we're also going through a Fender Super Reverb, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get.
1954, it's a first year Fender Stratocaster. Can't beat it. It's like a UFO coming out in 1954. Really cool guitar. You can check them all out at normansdrugguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. Bye.